Waymore is a command line tool similar to Wayback URLs that is extracting information from internet archives. But unlike Wayback URLs, it looks at additional sources, not just Wayback Machine. And it also is designed to pull the content that those URLs point to. So it's like another command line tool. And as you can see here in my terminal, I have a command set up using Python 3. And I'm just going to walk through that command now. Uh, we're using mode B, which is actually the default mode, but I've decided to explicitly state it anyways. Um, so this tells it to retrieve both URLs as well as web content that those URLs point to. Uh, the OU flag is telling it where to store the URLs file. The OR flag is telling it uh, what folder to put the downloaded content. And as you can see for both of those, I've created a custom folder in my home directory. I've also added the option no subs because I really want to restrict, restrict my search right here. I don't want to look at subdomains. Uh, and I have specified finally the mandatory dash I flag to specify an actual name to search. And here we're using the Acunetics test site uh, once again. So I'm not going to run the command here. I've already run it. It actually takes a fair amount of time to complete and you don't want to just sit there and watch this. Uh, but I can show you the results, uh, which I do have available in this folder that I created way more results. And as you can see, we have a URLs file as well as a large number of files uh, that were downloaded from the site. Now, all of the files with the XNL extension, I believe this is just a default uh, extension that is appended because of the, um, the alias used by the creator of this tool who goes by XNL Hacker. Uh, Waymore has a large number of configuration options for determining you know, what content gets downloaded and from where. So I encourage you to go uh, take a look at it, but um, this is just one simple way you can run it. Uh, to get back uh, a bunch of content that can be useful to explore further surface area against your application.